Elizabeth II is the eldest child of George VI and his wife Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother. In 1936, her father ascended the throne after his brother abdicated. At 10 years old, Elizabeth was thrust into the position of heir presumptive and only 16 years later, she ascended the throne herself after the premature death of her father. Elizabeth was born on the 21st of April 1926 to George VI, born Albert, and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. She was born during the reign of George V. At the time of her birth, her parents were the Duke and Duchess of York. Elizabeth was nicknamed Lilibet by her family, based off what she called herself when she was a toddler. Elizabeth had only one other sibling, Princess Margaret, who was born in 1930, and the two sisters were very close, being educated together at home by their governess Marion Crawford. As a young child, Elizabeth was quite sensible and mature for her age. Elizabeth was never expected to become queen. Until 1936, she was third in line to the throne after her uncle Edward VIII and her father, and it was expected that her uncle would marry and have children. However, that all changed when her grandfather George V died and her uncle Edward VIII became king. He abdicated only 11 months later to marry Wallace Simpson and Elizabeth's father became king. As such, Elizabeth became heir presumptive. She was not heir apparent as male preference primogeniture was in use at the time and if her parents had another child, a son, Elizabeth would not be the heir. From then on, Elizabeth would also receive education in constitutional history in Eton College. A Girl Guides company was set up in Buckingham Palace so Elizabeth and Margaret could meet with girls their own age. In 1939, World War II started and the royal family lived in Balmoral Castle, then Sandringham House, before living in Windsor Castle for the duration of the war. During the war, the princesses staged pantomimes. In 1940, Elizabeth made her first radio broadcast addressing the children of the UK to raise spirits. In 1942, Elizabeth was appointed Colonel of the Grenadier Guards and she visited them the following year during her first solo public appearance. In 1944, Elizabeth was made one of the five councillors of state in case her father became incapacitated. During the war, Elizabeth trained as a driver and mechanic, achieving the rank of honorary junior commander. The war ended in Europe in May 1945 and Elizabeth and Margaret went into the crowds in secret in the streets of London to celebrate. In 1947, Elizabeth went on her first overseas tour to South Africa and she made her famous pledge on the 21st birthday that she would devote herself to the Commonwealth and to her country. By the time the speech was made, Elizabeth was secretly engaged to Prince Philip of Greece and Denmark, her second cousin once removed. They had met in 1934 and began exchanging letters. In July 1947, their engagement was publicly announced. The match was met with both support and opposition. Philip was a foreign-born prince with a little money and whose sisters had married German men with Nazi links. The marriage went ahead anyway, with Philip renouncing his Ger Greek and Danish titles and converting to Anglicanism. Before the wedding, Philip was given the title of Duke of Edinburgh and his Royal Highness. Elizabeth and Philip married on the 20th of November 1947 and were followed uh, just under a year later by a son, Charles, and a daughter, Anne, in 1950. The early years of their marriage were generally happy with the couple living abroad intermittently in Malta. As the king's health began to fail, Elizabeth stood in for him. In early 1952, Elizabeth and Philip went on a tour of Australia and New Zealand, stopping in Kenya first. 
On the 6th of February 1952, the king died, and Philip broke the news to Elizabeth. She had left the UK as a princess and returned as a queen. She chose the regnal name of Elizabeth and was thus Elizabeth II. One of the first issues that came up was the name of the royal house. As was customary at the time, when a woman married a man, the woman would take the man's surname, and her children would have their father's surname. Several people assumed the royal house's name would be Mountbatten, but this was disliked by Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister at the time, and Elizabeth's grandmother, Queen Mary, who had been there when the house's name was first changed to Windsor in 1917. In April 1952, a declaration was issued stating that Windsor would continue to be the name of the royal house, and in 1960 the surname of Mountbatten Windsor would be used from then on by the male line descendants of Elizabeth and Philip who did not carry royal titles, as is the case in Prince Edward's children. Queen Mary died in March 1953, less than three months before the coronation. Mary had requested that the coronation go ahead as planned, before her death. On the 2nd of June 1953, the coronation was held and was the first to be televised except the anointing and communion parts of the ceremony. Elizabeth and Philip went on a seven-month tour of the Commonwealth in 1953 and Elizabeth was the first British monarch to visit Australia and New Zealand. As monarch, one of the few powers she held was to appoint a Prime Minister. In 1963, Elizabeth appointed the Earl of Home as Prime Minister on the advice of the previous Prime Minister Harold Macmillan. However, the move was criticised and in 1965 Elizabeth was relieved of this power after the Conservatives adopted a mechanism of electing a new leader. Nine years after Anne's birth, Elizabeth gave birth to her third child, Andrew, in 1960 the first child to be born to a reigning British monarch since 1857, and her fourth child, Edward, was born in 1964. Described as being out of touch by Lord Altrincham, Elizabeth took his advice and began initiating events to meet with members of the public. In 1972, Elizabeth toured Yugoslavia, becoming the first British monarch to visit a communist country. In 1977, Elizabeth celebrated her Silver Jubilee, and the following year, Lord Mountbatten, her uncle-in-law, was assassinated by the Provisional IRA, a blow to the royal family. During the 80s, the Queen survived two assassination attempts, one during the Trooping of the Colour in 1981, and the second while in New Zealand, also in 1981. What became known as her Annus Horribilis, 1992 marked the end of two of her children's marriages. Andrew separated from his wife Sarah in March and Anne divorced Captain Mark Phillips in April. Mauritius removed Elizabeth as head of state and a fire broke out in Windsor Castle. During the 80s and 90s, the media began to intrude more into the lives of the royal family, often publishing things such as um, photos and videos and audio tapes without the permission of the royal family. In 1993, the Queen sued the Sun newspaper after it published the text of her annual Christmas message days before it was to air. In August 1997, Princess Diana was killed in a car crash. The Queen's popularity greatly diminished during this brief period after the Queen failed to appear for a week and also failed to fly the flag over Buckingham Palace at half mass. 2002 marked the Queen's Golden Jubilee and her 55th wedding anniversary. Her sister and her mother passed away in early 2002 and this dealt a hard blow to the Queen to lose two very close members of her family.
In 2007, Elizabeth became the first British monarch to celebrate a diamond wedding anniversary, and in 2011, she became the first British monarch to visit the Republic of Ireland. 2012 marked 60 years on the throne for Elizabeth, and she became the first head of state to open two Olympics, the first being in 1976. In 2015, she became the longest reigning British monarch, surpassing her great-great-grandmother Queen Victoria. In March 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic hit the UK and the Queen, with her husband, moved to Windsor Castle. On the 6th of April 2021, Prince Philip died at the age of 99 with Elizabeth by his side. As COVID-19 restrictions were in place, only 30 people were allowed to attend the funeral. That Christmas, she remarked about Philip. That mischievous, inquiring twinkle was as bright at the end as when I first set eyes on him. On the 6th of February 2022, Elizabeth became the first British monarch to reach 70 years on the throne. Due to health reasons, she missed the state opening of Parliament for the first time in 59 years. Charles, her son, and William, her grandson, opened Parliament for her. She attended the first day of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, but was unfortunately unable to attend the rest, with various other members of her family taking the lead for her. On the 8th of September 2022, Buckingham Palace released a statement to the public stating that the Queen was under medical supervision. Members of her immediate family, including her four children, travelled to Balmoral Castle, where the Queen was staying. That afternoon, Queen Elizabeth passed away at the age of 96. Her death was announced to the public that evening. Her cause of death was recorded as old age. She had been queen for 70 years, longer than any previous British monarch and the second longest reign ever recorded for a head of state or monarch. Her funeral was held on the 19th of September 2022 and she was interred at the King George VI Memorial Chapel beside her parents, her sister and her husband. She was immediately succeeded by her eldest son Charles III as King of the United Kingdom.